Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at the probability when we have the intersection of dependent events. Remember that these intersections or AND probabilities follow the multiplication rules. So when we have independent events where A and B are totally unrelated, to find the probability of A intersection B or A and B, you simply take the probability of A times the probability of B. But what happens when we have dependent events? Well, A occurs first, but then the fact that A has occurred influences or changes the probability of B, and so we say that the probability of A and B is the probability of A times the probability of B given that A has occurred. When you look at notation for probability, that vertical line doesn't mean divide. It simply means that we're looking for the probability of B, but whatever is behind that vertical line has already occurred and somehow is changing the probability of B. Let's look at an example. So we have a group of 12 trick-or-treaters who arrive at your house and they're all dressed like ghosts. So there are seven boys and five girls, but you can't tell who is who. If you randomly select three of these ghost children, what's the probability that the three you select are all boys? So what we're looking for is we're looking for the probability of a boy and a boy and a boy. And so these are dependent events. So when I go to draw the first or select the first child, the probability that I get a boy is going to be 7 out of 12 because there were 7 boys in my group of trick-or-treaters. So now I've selected him and when I go to select the second boy there are only 6 boys available and only 11 children from which to choose. So by the time I get to picking my third trick-or-treater the likelihood or probability that I get a boy the third time is 5 out of 10 because I've already picked two boys and that means there are only five left. I've already picked two children that means there are only ten left. Because these are intersection or AND probabilities we're going to take the seven over twelve times the six over eleven times the five over ten and I'm going to find out that that's two hundred and ten over 1,320. Remember we like to reduce our fractions to decimals and convert those to percentages. So I get 0 0.15909 and making that into a percentage is going to give me there's about a 15.91% probability that if I randomly selected three of these ghost children that all three of them would be boys. As always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks so much for watching.